This is Howard Berger, and welcome to CTE Aiming. And it's another uh, situation where I wanted to explain a little bit on uh, CTE. For those who haven't uh, seen CTE or doesn't know anything about it, um, you could watch my previous videos, and there's about 20 or 30 of them uh, online. Uh, in essence, uh, CTE is made up of, uh, of an aiming system whereby you're shooting the uh, object ball. And if you can see the object ball right in front of us, it's broken into three parts. There's the left side of the stripe, which is the 15 degrees. The middle, where it says 11, is 30. And the right side of the stripe is 45 degrees. And there's also two points on each edge called the 1 8 marker. When you're shooting a, a shot like this, which is a straight shot, I line up the, the left side of the cue ball. So I'm, I'm a half a tip from center cue ball aiming at the 11, which is basically the reason why I'm aiming at the 11 because that's the relationship to the pocket. So one of those aim points, 15, 30, or 45, is the relationship to the pocket. So I'm lining up the cue ball with my left leg behind the cue ball, my, my two fingers, thumb and forefinger, are behind the cue ball, just like ghost ball, but I'm aiming and I'm pivoting over to center cue ball before shooting. So as you can see me, I'm pointing it out the left, see that, that pivot, that's the pivot. So I'm aiming it at from the left side of the cue ball, one half tip off center, and then just bringing my cue from the back end, make sure it's from the back end. And, uh, and then just uh, shooting the uh, ball right in. Now, there is the different versions of CTE. There's a traditional, which is a different way of, of looking at it. Uh, uh, again, pretty much they all work. Uh, but you'll get a lot of different uh, different takes from different people, and everybody has their own little area of, of how they do it. So that was, again, a B shot. And here we go back to the one, which is a little, again, just to give you a reference. So it's still a straight shot. I mean, it's a little bit of an angle, but not that much. If it was dramatic angle, then it would be a different aim line. But let's say it's still 30 degrees. So in other words, it's a straight shot into the corner. So I'm going to be aiming at that B, which is the, in the middle of that uh, uh, one ball. And then, uh, again, from the half tip offset, I'm aiming at the B. And then I'm going to switch over to center cue ball. I usually give about five to seven inches uh, spread from the cue ball to my hand. Uh, but it does vary when it's uh, a short shot. You know, you could use a little bit less. If it's a long shot, a little bit longer, a little bit more. And the uh, very, very simple type of thing. And once you get the hang of it, it's relatively uh, rote. You can always do it after one after the other. Even on a straight shot like this, you could just you know pivot to A, then bring it to center cue ball, and just hit it in. Of course, you could use English. You could use you know of course stop, draw, follow up, whatever you need to do, uh, to a, to a certain degree. I mean you know you have to really practice to get that working. Now the eight ball wants to go to the left, but there's a six ball in the way, so I'm going to go to the right. So all I'm doing is aiming. In this case, it's a one-eighth, uh, again, the relationship to the pocket is pretty steep because it's a nice cut. So I'm aiming from the one-eighth marker on the right side, uh, on the left side of that eight ball. Now, but I'm shooting from the half tip offset, just aiming at that aim line. Now the six ball is uh, kind of like near the side, but I can still use CTE. I'm going to kind of look, look at it from an angle. I'm pivoting over. And then I'm hitting this ball right in. There's a lot of things you could do with CTE besides the regular sh shots, but I'm so much more confident in CTE than, than just ghost ball because it's just, you're really just hitting the ball. You're not worrying about where the pocket is. So as long as you know the angle to the pocket, you're pretty much done. All you got to do is worry about the spot that you're hitting on the, on the, um, on the pivot, and the pivot does the trick, but you have to trust the pivot. So when you're aiming for that area, you just gotta trust the pivot that it'll, it'll definitely go in. Now here's a nice uh, shot, a little tough. Um, now if you're on the, either way, whether we do it from the left side to the right side, it's a 45 degree angle shot. So sometimes the A and B and C doesn't change, but the degrees change. So in other words, it still could be 45 on a C or 45 on an A. And that's what I did. I, I aimed for the 45 and hit it uh, to the left side, which is basically C. Now, it, it, this is kind of a, uh, a little bit different. Now I'm hitting it, let's say, on the A side, which is still about a 45 degree angle. So I'm coming in from the right side 
moving over to the half tip offset, then going into the middle of the cue ball. Ah, got stuck in the jaws. All right, well, it wasn't a, pretty close. So let's try it again. Here's the two ball, same situation. I'm aiming from the right side of the cue ball, half a tip off, going to center, aiming at the A in that case. Now it's the same shot. Now the difference between this shot and the other shot is because I'm coming in from a different side of the pivot. So I'm starting going from right to right to left, I'm going from left to right, and there goes a bank. So the table kind of knows if it's a if it's kind of like going for a bank or not. You got to really the relationship to the pocket is the most important thing, and that's the only way you're going to be able to miss the, sh the shots is if you aim for the if you look at it and you think it's let's say a 15 degree shot where it really is a 45 degree shot, then you, then you're probably going to miss. So that's what it takes a lot of practice on this, and it takes a little bit to just to get acclimated in, into the concept. Um, so it's not going to be overnight, and, and don't forget, the, when you're watching it on on the video, it's just much harder to, uh, to, to really view it. Anyway, appreciate it, and subscribe.